Okay, so this is the relaxing stage. This will be not be so technically like in the other stages. It will be short story, which is from 2016 when I came to the fact cool. Uh, and I will tell you how we switch from the open card 1.5.2, I think, to Symphony, and we we didn't need to do a feature freeze or something like that. Okay, so first, who am I? Uh, my name is Lubos Beran. Right now, I'm head of IT in a company called Factcool, which is one of the fastest growing e-commerce with clothing and apparel in Central Europe. Uh, I have about six years experiences with the PHP. Uh, I started when I was young after I changed myself to SharePoint developer, which was a bit scary and crazy. So I came back to the PHP again. Uh, or sometimes I'm the speaker too for like today, for example. Uh, if you want need some concrete details, you will see them on the end of the presentation. Okay, so what our topic is about. Uh, I will show you how I started in the fact cool um, little story behind. After I will tell you some steps what we did in the three years of the development there and Finally, I will tell you some reasons why we do that changes and what was the reason why we didn't use the approach of revolution, but we try to make it like evolution. Uh, if you are changing your infrastructure or the systems uh, in company, which is already earning the money, which have some functions, which uh, have a lot of code written, you you simply cannot use the revolution approach because you probably don't have money for it. I wrote some things like there is a French revolution, but you can make revolution if you have an investor which don't uh, don't require it to earning earn the money and have a lot of developers. In our case, we need to pay the bills, salaries, and. To be clear, we have only one developer, which was me, and <laughs> now we have around 12 developers, so 10 is located in Trenchin, 2 are here in the Prague, but we want to grow. But for us, was only the one approach right, and it was the evolution. So we started to make our system more great than it was before. Uh, okay. At the sometimes at the year uh, 2016, I think it was in the January when I came to the fact cool, there was a pretty funny situation. They have uh, already wrote in the e-commerce which was built on open card. I think it was the 1.5.2 probably. And it was built by the man who was not a developer. He was uh, something like a nutrition advisor. But he knows how to install open card. Uh, and you know, he installed the open card and there was the part that he needed to uh, improve something, so he tried to be a programmer. It was pretty funny because his uh, development tool and his favorite tool was the nano or the Wim, and he wrote the code on the server di directly. Uh, he wrote the code only in the night because the customers was day over the day. So, when I came there, I thought to myself, oh my god, where I, where I just came, and next month he was fired. So I stayed there alone, I didn't know anything about his code, and his code was pretty funny. Uh, I, I can show you a lot of examples, but a lot of from them you can find on the website, which is called hovnocode.cz. Uh, <laughs> Uh, mo a lot of PHP <laughs> PHP code from that portal is from his project. So I will show you one example for everything, and is this. Well, and now try to tell me what you think is this function doing. It should be, but not. No, it's not the session. Yeah. It is simple. When you are on the website and you want to subscribe to the newsletter, you probably will receive the email with some hash. Yeah, and this was the hash. 
Okay, you got there everything. You have there, I don't know how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven usage of SGA1. There is some random hard-coded string and it's everything is wrapped in MD5. Maybe the presentation which is on the other room, there is the cracking. We can make it in this uh, challenge <laughs> if he can crack that. Okay, so that was the situation. Uh, we don't know what the code is doing. Uh, uh, sorry, we know I, because I was there alone. And uh, I don't know what to do. So uh, there was an, one important thing which I need to mention. And there was the extension called Journal 2. It was installed over the open card and it have a lot of functions already programmed. And uh, I decided that I will change uh, change the system and I will get a new framework. Because I was there alone, I have no time to make something in Symfony and rewrite whole system to the Symfony or something like that. And the fastest way, what to do, was to change it to the newer open card version and try to use some code which was written before in the new system. And uh, yes, the, the day I try to know what, uh, I don't know how, if I can say that word, but shit is the open card. Uh, yeah, um, try to imagine that you have the class, something like catalog or, you know, there is a function which is called the index. And this function have more than 1000 lines which is pretty scary, and whole open card was written like this, but never mind, they said open card version 2.17 is brand new and it will be everything okay, was not, it was the lie. So, uh, but we started, uh, sorry, I started still, I was there alone, and uh, we hired a new developer, and we started to making uh, to the new open card and we did a really big change in company and we started to using a git yeah okay <laughs> so first step was uh, that we started to using the git so we have a great versioning system and uh, we can make a, you know a better code uh, we can make a reviews and other things like that and before it was not possible. So this was a little, but for us in these days, day, this was a big change, and but not so important. Much more important one was we hired our third developer, and he was uh, but scary about our project because it was really shit. And you know, we want to have a development much more easier, and we don't want to write so many code as we need it with the plain open card. In these days, there was not Twig. Right now, it is part of the open card, but before it wasn't. And the reason was not only that we are lazy, but the reason was that these controllers, which I said before, which have more than 1,000 lines, have uh, so many lines because the really creepy structure of the open card framework. When uh, example I have here, so if you want to get some translated text in open card, you need it to use something like this. You you just first was the this load and the language. You need to get the path to the file where the languages are. After you need to set the translated text to some data or something like that. And after you need to go to the template and do an echo some string. Uh, these controllers was so big that we don't like that and we needed to change that. So we did a, a little change and implemented week after this what four lines was replaced with this one line so it was for us a really important change because there is no only the templates like the variables and everything in the open card is loaded you have a one one variable which is called data for example you are assigning the values into the data and after you are getting it to the template which is it's, it's really shit. 
Okay, so that was the first thing what we did. And the uh, first bigger change what we did. It took us about one month probably to implement it and uh, it works well, but we have no time to refactor all st already written code. So we started to wrote new templates in Twig and we needed to create some uh, some script which will decide if are we rendering the Twig or we are using the old school uh, open card templates. So it was uh, pretty funny to make that, but we did it. It's on our GitHub repository if anybody need it, and you can fork it. Uh, uh, in the next thing, uh, I will get the water. Okay, it w we are still in the year 2016, and we already have around 1,000 orders per day. Uh, and the system was relatively stable. It was okay. Uh, but th there was a problem that the Black Friday, our CEO came and he told us that we are expecting two times more orders and four times more customers. And we had a big problem because uh, our performance not, not was so good. And we n never try to find out why is that because we have a big hardware with a lot of RAM and great processors. So before the Black Friday we did a little little check why is there so big problem that landing page just generated 1000 queries. It was you know banners, menu and shit like 1000 queries per user with no cache. And uh, we cannot use MySQL cache because there was a some kind of the problem. I don't know what problem it was, but our administrators cannot fix that. But if you have a master master replication on the MySQL, there is a problem with the cache. It's still broken and didn't re return correct results. Maybe it's fixed already, but I don't know. We are not using that. Uh, so we did this little check and we found out that category page where you have 40 products, menu, some banner, and I don't know, recommendation, filter, whatever, it took us 20,000 queries per load. Uh, and we tried to find out where is the problem and we found the problem. Everything on the page was loaded from the database. so. Every link, everything in the menu was loaded from the database and it was uh, really crazy. For that uh, little piece box with the product, we loaded whole product, everything, because it's the open card approach. Why not to load only what you need? You load everything. If, for example, I don't know for what, but it's doing it. So we started to optimizing the code and we we optimized something, but we still need the cache and we decided what we're gonna to do. And we installed the Redis. And there was a one problem what we did because every every result which came from the from from database was cached in, in Redis. And the user sessions too. And after one month plus minus, we we have around 62 gigabytes of the dates in the Redis, or maybe uh, that number is not correct, it's maybe a half, 32, but I, not, I don't remember. Whatever, it was a really big bunch of the man, uh, data, and uh, we, we are used the Redis Sentinel replication, I don't know if you know what is it, but if you have one Redis master, uh, there are other which are listening and getting the data from the master and if the master is fall down the sentinel switched and the next master is another slave but before they need to sense the rdb file which is generating from the redis and this rdb file in our case have 32 gigabytes which was a relatively big problem to copy the data from one server to another server and it was really, really slow. And the website was almost every day, every hour, and maybe every 20 minutes down. We really don't know why is that, but uh, after we needed to rebuild our whole Redis cache, 
and right now we are pretty happy because we have Elasticsearch finally, so we are not we don't need to store so many data in the Redis like the results from the database. But a good thing about this, um, it have uh, really big problems and really many problems, but we stayed and the Black Friday was really successful. We get around 500 uh, orders per one day, which was for us a new record. And the website was perfectly stable and next few months it continues. Okay, but our uh, biggest change was uh, a migration to the Symfony. Um, we hired another developers and we, we wanted to do uh, something to have a life more easier and we started to migrating to the symphony it cost us a really 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 lot of time but uh, we started with uh, uh, with the one problem if you have an open card framework you have a something rotten in it and you want to in one code base write code in the symphony you need to do some some switch or something that that will know that if you are going on this URL, you are on the symphony, and if you are going on this URL, you are going from the open card. So there was a little little challenge about it, and uh, we did it by by some trade. My colleague will maybe explain you more if you want. He's somewhere here. There he is. Uh, we had uh, some trait which we included into every function the controller and uh, we hacked the routers in Symfony and in OpenCard 2 and if a router in OpenCard failed it loaded the Symfony or the or the side I, I, I don't really know uh, but the uh, problem is that we are still have the open card and we just after I don't know half a year migrated only the front end side and uh, right now it's a lot of work f behind uh, front of us so uh, okay another f stuff is that we did uh, elastic search which I forgot to add to my presentation because I created it a few minutes back and uh, before we used a uh, pretty uh, I don't know uh, so it was, I think, a beginner approach to filtering the results. We use something like that. We create the query, select, blah, 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 something from. And there was a that scary filter, you know, which are you using that you, you are defining the variable, the SQL. And after you are using that equals and some kind of the string, another if and another string and I, I will better show you I will maybe find it something wait uh, I forget about it it will be just a second oh god It's a bit small, I think. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, but you can see that the structure of the open car is horrible too. Just for, uh, for example, I don't know, product. Okay, yes, that's the open card. <laughs> okay, uh, I may, okay, here is here is a some, no, this is not the square. Uh, whatever, it looks some, some kind of this, you know, you look, this is a really big shit. Okay, uh, with the filtering in this code, which was uh, really crazy and it was slow as a hell. So, uh, we built a really one really big query and execute it and <laughs> there was a pretty fun that's the delay happening every time so a lot of people got a 502 response code and other codes it was our big challenge so we decided to use Elasticsearch for this we created a new index which was called product 
And uh, right now we have uh, all front end of the e-commerce built on Elasticsearch and uh, Symfony. So our whole front end is right now uh, in the Symfony and we need to make a back end. But uh, it's not so much so long presentation as I expected it will be. Okay, whatever. Uh, what we need more, we are not in the end and I think that in another two years we are not going to be. And uh, what is the next, what we need to do is to rewrite the whole code base and it cannot be revolution two, it should be the evolution. So if we are adding something to the controller or we are creating the new feature, it's already migrating to the symphony and and uh, we are nothing doing with the open card nowadays. So every feature, if we are doing something to the controller, which is written in the open card and we need to add something, we are creating the new control and the symphony and trying to rewrite everything there. Uh, our big problem now is the continuous integration too, because it's not possible to make something like the PHP Stan or uh, PH, uh, PHP CS on the open card code, because it's a horrible code and you can use auto loading and this common stuff which is uh, normal for today development. And uh, uh, that's the second part of our next improvement so and the next thing is the recruit a lot of developers uh, i thought that this is going to be a longer presentation but it's probably about a half hour so i need to tell you thank you <laughs> for your attention and i know that this is the last presentation of the conference so you can go home now <laughs> and uh, if you have any questions so ask Why elastic? Why not elastic? <laughs> That's the question. No, no, no. Because yeah, it's a fast and we have experiences with that, you know, and it was the best thing for us to use. And what would you do? Uh, Redis? Okay. We will maybe think about, but... <laughs> I don't think, okay, uh, Elasticsearch have a really lot of filters, it has uh, many features, you have a Kibana and other stuff around, you know, so you can log there, uh, you can record the logs there, and it, you can make a cluster, whatever you want, you know, it's a, it's a bit easy to set up. Code base part, sorry. <laughs> what? So, what? No. What methods do you use in order to check out the improvement that you guys did? Oh, yeah, it's pretty easy. If that's we that's have uh, multiple orders, not so big performance issues, and people are buying and website is really fast. We think that's the best metric. You know, you need to, in first, first you need to use a business and if business is working, probably the IT is good. Somebody else? Yes? Uh, based on what did you decide whether to use Symfony or whether to keep uh, taking the data from the old uh, framework open card? Oh yes, uh, I forget to meet, mention here um, database, which in open card there is not something like foreign keys, and uh, it was uh, pretty funny when we tried to build the entities for doctrine. Because there was, for example, there was the product descriptions which don't have a product. There was the order which don't have order products. And one specialty, just only the open card world, there was a, 
one problem that you have a if you have a multiple store we have in one system multiple stores and multiple countries we are selling around 19 countries i think and uh, in database it's like uh, number one is the fact cool and in every config you have a reference for the id zero which is not exist so you need to rewrite a really really big bunch of the code to make this functional but for your questions uh, I forget what it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I uh, meant it uh, similarly, but also the thing. Uh, I can't hear you. Uh, I meant also the thing that uh, how was you load balancing the traffic, okay. like. Uh, on which terms did you redirect the user to some funny version of application? Uh, yeah, I, I mentioned it before. Uh, we have a rotten tra trade which is in the function and we know that is function ready for production in Symfony or not. And if the root router will uh, throw an exception, everything is in the try catch, we are using the open card code before. Because we have uh, many many controllers uh, duplicated in the open card and the Symfony. And until we are finishing the Symfony part of the application, we are running it from the open card. So if we have a ready production, we are using the, these trades to make it live. Okay, thank you. No problem. Anybody else? We have a half an hour. We can speak of whatever we want. <laughs> Have you tried uh, using varnish as a cache? Uh, varnish? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, yes. We thought about it, but we never implemented that because uh, if you are using the varnish, you you need to have everything static, and maybe not now, but when we talked about it, it was the reason that you cannot have, tr for example, login and logout. Because the varnish is caching the whole sign and is returning the HTML, so if you have some the dynamic context like the login logout or the or the cart or something, it was not possible to use resi, uh, varnish okay. in this case. It's possible, but um, you have to figure it out how to do it. Ah, uh, aha, uh -huh, okay, maybe. For what uh, are you using uh, Elasticsearch, or uh, uh, are you dropped the My MySQL data database? Uh, we are using the Elasticsearch just for filtering the product, ah. like a searching and the filters, you know, by the size, color, and these things around. We have the product data in the Elasticsearch index, and we are searching uh, around them. So you you are using uh, both? Yes, okay. yes, sure. We have classic MySQL database and we have Elasticsearch just for the searching. Okay, thanks. Anybody? Nobody? Okay, so probably nobody, nothing, so we can cut it out. And uh, thank you that he was here. Uh, maybe you learned something, maybe not. Uh, but uh, have a nice day. And there are some contact details if you want. So bye.